Welcome back everybody to another book review, media review. Today we actually got kind of a biggie here. This is the 2006 Benelli USA catalog, which includes the family of companies under the umbrella of Benelli, Franchi, A. Uberti, Stoger, and Stoger Books. So if we take a look at the cover here, at the nice photography, let's look at the back cover. Okay, so looks like this was originally from Baron Marketing, that's what they used for their advertising. Nothing on the inner cover, and more nice artwork, I mean photography, well, I guess photography is art, still art, and this is actually tabbed out for each of the companies here, color coded, and let's start right off with the namesake, Benelli here, and since this being 2006, you know, there have been advancements since then, but, uh, it's kind of a snapshot in time here. Let's give you a look at the table of contents of what was available at the time. It has a section on Tom Knapp, Exhibition Shooter, The Late Tom Knapp, rest in peace, sir. Here we have a little detail on their Comfortex system, Crytek system, Super Black Eagle, the M2, M1 Field, Cordoba, Super Sport, Sport 2. There's the great Tom Knapp. Again, rest in peace, sir. The Legacy, Ultralight, Montfeltro, Left Hand Models. Cute doggy, the supernova, nova palm, slug guns, turkey guns, the M4. Oh, yeah. Pardon me. Defense, and LE versions, defense. And we get actually some of the more uh, non shotgun slug gun items. The R1 rifle. Ooh, big bear. R1 rifle with wood furniture. A little bit of detail on the auto regulating gas operating Argo system. Innovation there. So those parts and accessories to bling bling your Benelli up. Mm-hmm. 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 More parts. And then gear. Let's just say with Benelli. All sorts of stuff in here. And again, Tom Knapp. Actually, first learned about Tom Knapp through Shooting USA. And then we got a whole bunch of models and the specifications on each. I won't get into too much detail because there is a ton of data in here. And we also have some of the more bling bling items, the world class collection, which features. Uh, engraving and inlays. Moving along into the Frankie section. More details on their inertia driven system. Some more fancier models. Like the I-12. Some more semi-auto stuff. Very nice. 
the Renaissance is coming. Cute. And as well as their set of uh, add-on items, gear, etc. As well as their specification data and their world-class collection. said again, fantastic photography in this catalog. They did a really good job. So moving along, don't mean to rush, but there's a lot of stuff in here. There's the Berti section of the catalog. So you can see the change in the type of items here and style as well. A little bit on Uberti itself. Table of contents, etc. Let me step one back because I think I blew right by the table of contents. For... No, nope, there wasn't one. That's why I did both. No, 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 yeah. Okay. So Frankie didn't have, seem to have a table of contents. That's why it didn't stand right out to me. Okay. Moving along back to the Frankie. Sorry, give you a revisit at the table of contents. What was available in 2006? the great photography in this catalog. A little bit on the Patterson and Walker reproductions that they offered. Here we have a sporting gentleman there. The Dragoon and Pocket Revolvers. So you can almost imagine what these look like when the originals first came out. And these were the hot rods of the time. But, yeah, there's just there's lots of fantastic models in here. The Army and Navy. New Army Target Cob Carbine. Pocket Navy and Police. Single action cattlemen. A lot of work went into making this catalog. Cattleman Bird's Head, which means refers to the grip style. Bisley and Stallion. Note the ankle grip. Just, I mean, just the setup for these pictures themselves is amazing, I think. All the little accessories and props that they use in the pictures. Butt line and revolver carbine. Super long barrels. Yeah, 18 inch barrel length. So we got the Outlaw Frontier and Police. Big lanyard ring right there. You can have top brake models. More action photography. The rolling block. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rolling block pistol. And all, the catalog puts uh, specs, you know, underneath uh, all the models, not just uh, in the summary section at the back of each chapter. The 1866 model. Period attire. 1873. 1874 sharps. We got a use of shooting sticks there. More on sharps. The lightning. Springfield trapdoor. The 
high wall. Some big critters right there. Even have knives. Got some buoys. We've got long range sight set with variable diopters, globe sights, glass bubble inserts, eye pieces. A lot of stuff in there. As well as their world class section. And then we get to Stoger. Serving since 1924. They also use an inertial driven system. Here's our model 2000. Model P P350. The Condor competition. The Condor itself. Over and unders. Uplander side by sides. Coach gun supreme. Coach gun itself. That's stainless right there. Ooh. Oh yeah. There. We got the specification section. Start to get some accessories and gear. A little bit more on the P330. And then we got that section on the Stoger books for reference. Oh, look at that. Quite a few titles in that family. I'm sure it's probably increased since then. Feel free to check them out. There is a promo code listed, but I won't show it because I'm not sure it is still valid or not. But there's some contact info for Stover Books. Let me see if there's anything else on contacting. Yeah, so here's the stuff for Uberti. Uh, let's see if we got something for Frankie. There's the contact info for Frankie USA. Hopefully you can see that. I hear an owl in the background. And the Benelli USA contact info. So, white cover, back to the front cover. So, it's just been a rushed through look at the Benelli USA catalog from 2006, as well as the family of... Uh, companies under their umbrella. So this has been a book review media review. Feel free to check out other book review media reviews on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos and more specific items as well as curios for the curious or more artsy type objects. Please feel free to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. See you next time.